Hello everybody and welcome to this special edition of Ansible Pilot. Today we are talking about very important CV, so a security vulnerability, precisely the Paul Kit Privilege Escalation PWM Kit CV 2021-4034. And we are going to see an Ansible playbook mitigation for Red Hat Enterprise. Yes! Uh, so, it's... Uh, if you didn't see any news, this is important things and this is the most explicative description that I found over internet. So thank you so much baratgojiqualis.com So it's a memory corruption vulnerability of Polkit's PK Accept which allow any unprivileged user to gain full root privilege on a vulnerable system using default Polkit configuration. I saw the reproducer and there is a wonderful video in the blog of this company that show up how to break the latest Debian 11. So hurry up, patch your system and I will show you some Ansible playbook for Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Yes, good job guys! And it's official! Yay! Wait a minute, is this CV important for your users? I believe yes, if you take a look on this map, there are a lot of tweets just right now, right here, and today is definitely on fire this stuff. Uh, so go directly to the mitre.org database and take a look about the record and everything. Yes, was reported in November, there was some embargo, whatever, whatever. But right now we are very interested on the Red Hat website because uh, they were the first one launching one security bulletin and oh, drum roll. This security bulletin was updated five hours ago, as you can see, so the important part is that on Diagnose you have one wonderful bash script to check your fleet, if it's affected or not, but the most important part is this Ansible playbook that actually mitigates the effect on your fleet. And very compliment. Now I'm going to download this code and take a look with you. Welcome to my editor. This is the code available in the Red Hat website and is an Ansible playbook. So I'm very curious to take a look with you and comment together. So as you can see, start with a general Red Hat GPL free license. So good for you, Red Hat, and there is also the usage, as you can see here there is the exact command line, how to use, they are using an extra variable, as you can see is host here, so you can customize with your host in your network. And this seems more uh, uh, like a workaround than a real fix. As you can see here is mentioned that once uh, the final fix will be available you need to remove uh, this stuff. So let's take a look uh, just a little bit on the code. It's not a lot of code as you can see only 88 lines of code so they will be very quick. Okay this is a standard play that is going to target all hosts defined here become true, so it's going to be execute as root. The first task uh, take care of the dependency. Oh, system tap is very important component here because it's the one that is doing the real job in this step. And what else? Kernel devel is only some headers of a kernel and yamutis uh, will be handful uh, in the following step. Here we have some uh, condition for Red Hat 7 to install uh, the bug info for the kernel or uh, the one 
and the one from uh, REL 8, uh, uh, 6 and 8 uh, about Polkit. What else? Uh, with C Linux, uh, of course, uh, we need to install also libs Linux, Python. This is a normal thing so that uh, the newest distribution already have, but REL 6 probably no. What else? Uh, system tab script. This is very interesting. So basically they are creating some code directly with a copy module. As you can see, there is this code probe process pkxec that is going probably to, uh, to tell pkxec not to be dangerous for our system and is going to be saved under this file on pkxec block stp. What else? OK is going to check it out if uh, the module is already loaded. If not, is going to load the script. And done! So basically it's magic. As you can see, they create on the fly the, the system type script and load it on the running kernel. Yeah, good job guys! So I'm very curious. So now I would like to try on my terminal. Let's go! And welcome guys to my terminal. I'm pretty excited to try this code with you. So let's go directly via SSH. This is my demo machine, demoexample.com. I'm connecting with DevOps and let me switch to root. Let me also introduce my wonderful Red Hat Enterprise. A.5 edition. Uh, so first of all, let me verify that uh, the module is not loaded. What's the name? SAT step pkexec block is not loaded. So let's start the rock and roll. Let me disconnect and Ansible playbook. I'm not sure if it's necessary my inventory, but let me specify anyway. And then uh, this is the extra variable created by that that is host demo example.com. And then the CV are downloaded under this directory. So it's going to be pretty straightforward, I think so. Now there is the install of the dependency, and then uh, there is the creation of a file and the loading as a module. So, finger crossed, this is a live demo, so I have no idea what is going to happen. But I'm sure that the security team of Red Hat tested pretty well this code against Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So guys, this is pretty different type of video from the usual one, but I hope you like it. And also this content is exactly up to date and I think could be very useful to see the result of this code on this test machine. Because more or less you need to apply to all your fleet and actually internet is on fire right now. Uh, so it's going to take a while. I don't want to cut the video, so let's enjoy together. Do you have popcorn? <laughs> no, let's see, let's see. I don't think it's going to take longer. Actually it's downloaded only the kernel headers and uh, the system tap packages. So I think we'll be pretty fast after this uh, installation moment. As you know, it's going to, DNF is going to refresh the repository and taking care of all the dependency of the package, downloading, com installing, configuring on the system. So it depends by the performance of your machine. This is a virtual machine, as you could imagine, so it's going to take a while. And here we go. Uh, the installation was done. Now let's install the poll kit, debug info. Come on, go internet. <laughs> After this uh, step uh, will be super fast, uh, in my opinion. So basically now we have a system tab packages already installed. Let's install also the poll kit, debug info. 
and then we can apply the model. I would like to connect after this phase to verify that this uh, stop pkexec block module is successfully loaded on the system. And again, this is the real time. As you can see, Ansible is reporting different color with different status. So OK means that uh, is only reading some information from the machine, so the fact gathering was only acquiring some statistic data in the machine. These are useful for the conditional or for taking different runtime decision. Uh, the change status means some uh, operation was done in the target machine. As you can see, there are different, uh, there are change status when you install the packages, the pull kit and also creating the script. The skipping was a step uh, not performant on this system because it doesn't satisfy some uh, distribution uh, version, for example. So this is not a RHEL 7, so we'll skip it, and not a RHEL 6, so don't need it, libs Linux Python. It's already stolen, come on. Uh, okay, he's going the step was to checking if the kernel module was already loaded and I think no. And now is the moment of truth. After creation inside the root directory is going to be applied to the kernel runtime. This is the last step and I didn't expect to take so much time just for load a, a kernel module. Oh. My machine is, uh, is tired, probably. But I'm expecting change status, and here we go. Done! Oh, are you excited? I hope you are. So let me connect again via SSH and sudo su. Let me list the kernel module, and it's loaded. Yes, so the mitigation was successful. Let me also verify under the root directory. Yes, there is the pk exec block file. Good, done. As you can see, Ansible Playbook completely automate this mitigation process. So go and patch your fleet, guys. So guys, now you know how to mitigate the poll kit privilege escalation PW and kit uh, CV 2021-4034 with Ansible Playbook. I know this type of video was a bit different and was specifically about Red Hat Enterprise Linux, but I can't wait because these things uh, seem to be huge and very impactful on uh, your user, your security. So I don't want to, didn't want to wait uh, longer. S if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, write me a comment, and in general, stay in contact with me. So thank you for watching, take care, and see you soon on the next IT adventure of Ansible Pilot. Ciao!